I'm here with uh, Zajib Wazet. Uh, he's advising the uh, Prime Minister in Bangladesh about ICT. Mr. Wazid, what's the biggest challenge right now uh, for you in this business? The biggest challenge for us in the IT sector now is really developing our workforce. So we began digitizing only about six, seven years ago. We didn't really have much of an IT skill set. And as you know, it's a specialized skill. It takes time to put people through a four-year college. So our government has taken an initiative to train up to 75,000 people over the next three years in basic IT skills, IT development, specific job and vocational skills. So that remains our biggest challenge, developing the workforce. Despite uh, education, what are the biggest drivers to make uh, Bangladesh the IC ICT destination? We've really focused on digitizing government services. That has given a boost to the domestic IT industry because 80% of our uh, government digitization was developed by the domestic industry. And so this helped the industry grow from where it was seven years ago with total $23 million in exports to now there's over $300 million. Along with that, we focus on developing IT infrastructure. Uh, seven years ago, you could get a broadband connection only in the major cities. Outside of the cities, there was nothing. Uh, one megabit of internet connection anywhere costs a thousand dollars a month. And Bangladesh, the entire country was connected to the internet through just one fiber optic submarine cable. Whenever that cable would get cut, the entire country of Bangladesh would be offline. So we focused on developing infrastructure. We added additional uh, fiber optic connections to the outside world. We've now laid fiber throughout the country, and now we're getting down to almost where we're trying to get fiber down to near every village in Bangladesh. Uh, you think is that also the infrastructure a main, uh, main advantage compared to other ICT markets worldwide? Absolutely. Bangladesh is one of the few countries, because even though in terms of population, we are the eighth largest country of the world, in terms of size, we are very small. So to develop infrastructure throughout Bangladesh it can be done much more quickly. And today, Bangladesh has 98% mobile coverage. So 98% of our land mass, you can get a cell phone coverage, and in most cases, a 2G or at least even a 3G uh, coverage, and hopefully 4G, which is in the pipeline. It's already being implemented. Uh, the development is, is quite fast, as you said, so just within six or seven years. Uh, is that still uh, doable for the people? Uh, do they love using ICT, uh, or do they yeah, have problems uh, uh, coming with that? No, in fact, our, it's been a pleasant surprise that our people have really quite taken to ICT quite quickly. So, for example, many uh, government information and services are available on mobile phones, some through SMS systems. And people in the villages who don't even know how to read and write, they will buy a mobile phone and they will have their nephew or their son type in text messages and uh, go on websites to avail of these services. So our people, despite a lack of education, have really taken to it quickly and we're quite proud of that. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.